A few words about doing it for the uh, 0.5 milliliter calibration. I don't know if that's part A. We'll fix that too. Uh, but this is table two. So you've got your pipette. And uh, if the one mark is up here, that 0.5 milliliter mark is about in the middle. And uh, I have no idea what you're going to find because I have not calibrated mine for 0.5 milliliters. Uh, I just did mine for the one milliliter up here. But you're going to end up with a line somewhere above or below it. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so, and then you're going to do the exact same thing. I would go to the 0.5 line, see if that works. If not, go above or below it by the amount that you think will make it work to 0.5. And in the end, you should have a line up here for one milliliter and a line somewhere down here for 0.5 milliliter. And you have to take a picture of your pipette with the, both of those lines on it so I can know how your calibration went. Now, as far as the graduated cylinder, if you look at the procedure, it says, adapting a procedure to a new situation calibrating a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder to hold a certain volume. Based upon what you learned about calibrating a plastic pipette and based upon how you filled a graduated cylinder in experiment one, um, apply this information to calibrating 50, a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder to hold 50 milliliters. A couple hints. One is, so you're gonna fill it to the 50 line and you're gonna weigh it and you're gonna see if you get 50 milliliters. Um, your tolerance for this, and I'll write this tolerance in here, is uh, 0 0.1 milliliters, plus or minus 0 0.1, so 50 to you is 49.9 to 50.1. Um, let's see, and you will need six good measurements just like for the one milliliter and the 0.5 milliliter calibrations that you've already done, only six measurements. If I see you with six good measurements, so maybe it'll take nine total, but six good measurements. Um, if I see you with nine or 12, and they're not because you went through the flow chart and did exactly what we just did, I will wonder what your process is. Um, remember to always remove the graduate cylinder from the scale because you don't want to tip any uh, water onto it, please. And if you have any questions, please ask me.